and welcome to another episode of Wildlife Crystal. I'm your host, Wildlife Crystal, a wild animal specialist. As you know, on the show, Wildlife Crystal, we are going to be learning fun facts about one animal and their environment every episode. I'm here with my very special co-host, the one and only, Kaya the Koala. Did I tell you I just bought a new Mustang convertible? Oh yeah. It's red and super powerful. It has at least 300 horsepower. I'm pretty sure that means it has the strength of 300 horses. Are horses super fast? Can we talk about horses today? Ah, uh, yes, we can discuss horses today. What a great idea. <laughs> Let's start with how fast they can run. Sounds good. Horses are very fast and very strong. Horses are the fifth fastest land animal in the world. The quarter horse can run up to 55 miles per hour. That's way faster than humans. The fastest recorded human ran 28 miles per hour. It is also interesting to know why horses run so fast. Horses are what's called prey animals. Predators are the animals that hunt other animals for food, also known as prey. Prey animals depend on reflexes and speed to escape predators. For a horse, speed is their top defense mechanism. Oh, interesting. Do they do anything else to stay safe from predators? Oh, yes. Many prey animals have great instincts to help protect themselves. Horses live in groups called herds. They are also known as herd animals and find safety in groups. Actually, horses are very social animals and will feel very lonely and unsafe if kept alone. Where do horses live? Horses can be found in almost every country in the world and every continent except Antarctica. Although horses are not native to North America where we live. Every horse in North America is a descendant of European horses. Horses have been around humans for a very, very long time. They once represented a major way for humans to get around, as they were used for transport. Today, your mom or dad can drive you around in your car to go to school, or for Kaya in her new red convertible. But many years ago, everyone used horses to get around. The oldest horses have been around as long as the Egyptian pyramids. Are there wild horses still in the world? There are very few wild horses left in the world. Almost all horses that we know today all over the world have been domesticated. Domestication means it's a change that happens in wild animals when they are kept by humans for a long time. The Latin term literally means to make suitable for your home. For example, house pets like your dog and cat, they've been domesticated for thousands of years. I guess I would be considered a domesticated koala bear, right? <laughs> Sort of, yes. In any case, you are a very special koala. Okay, okay. Tell us some fun facts about baby horses. Well, most baby horses, also called fowls, are born in the dark. Remember before when I was speaking about other ways prey animals protect themselves? Well, horses have developed some pretty smart ways to protect themselves and their babies from predators. For fowls, baby horses, are born between midnight and 6 a.m. when it's still dark. This is because it's easier to hide a newborn fowl from predators when it's not light out. Also, fowls can stand only two hours after they're born. It takes human babies at least a year to develop the muscles and the balance to stand on their own. Fowls, however, can get on their hooves in less than two hours. Some babies even start nursing, meaning drinking their mother's milk, and walking around only a half hour after they're born. <laughs> their quick progression to standing, walking, and even galloping is another trait that is necessary for survival. They need to be able to move if their mother senses danger. Oh, wow, these are very interesting. These are great facts. Tell us another fact about baby horses, I mean fowls. Fowls are usually born with no teeth. They don't need teeth to nurse in those first few days, but their mouths don't stay gummy for long. Fowls develop their first baby teeth within the first few days after they're born. Human babies don't start growing teeth until they're about six months to a year old. After a few weeks, fowls have a complete set of 24 baby teeth. 
I heard horses only need two and a half to three hours of sleep a day. Is that true? As a koala, as you know, I need at least 18 hours of sleep a day. <laughs> yes, I know koalas need lots of beauty rest. Well, it's true. Horses only need two and a half to three hours of sleep a day. What's more interesting is that horses sleep standing up. They sleep lying down too, but only for short amounts of time. Also, it's very unlikely to see all horses in a herd lying down and sleeping all at the same time. This is because at least one horse will stand and look out in order to be able to alert the others of any potential danger. Interesting. What do horses eat? Horses are herbivores, which means they only eat plants. Horses mostly eat hay and grasses, but can also eat some fruits and vegetables too. Their favorite is short, juicy grass. Horses have small stomachs for their size, so they need to eat often. They also need to drink water very often and a lot. Horses drink about five to 10 gallons of water a day. That is a lot. Humans only need about half a gallon a day. It makes sense though, horses are huge. A full grown horse could weigh as much as 2,200 pounds. That's almost as much as a car weighs. Whatever size the animal, it is very important to stay hydrated. I heard horses can help humans with therapy. Is that true? Yes. <laughs> Animal therapy refers to the use of animals as a way to help people cope with and recover from physical and mental health conditions. Horse therapy is very special because horses are such smart and loving animals. Also, horses have the ability to mirror feelings of the handler or rider. A relationship between the patient and the horse develops and allows the person to engage in some nature through a beautiful and peaceful animal. This helps in building trust, respect, compassion, communication, and self-confidence. The skills learned through building a meaningful relationship with a horse are transferable to all other aspects of a person's life. Let's all work together to always make sure animals and humans live in harmony. Let's always be kind and respectful to every creature on this planet. <laughs> and now it's question time. Kaya, are you as excited as I am to put the knowledge we learned today to the test? I sure am. True or false? Horses are the fifth fastest land animal in the world. The correct answer is true. Horses can run up to 55 miles per hour. What does it mean if an animal is a herbivore? A, they only eat meat. B, they only eat fish. C, they eat both plants and animals. Or D, they eat only plants. The correct answer is D. Animals who are herbivores only eat plants. Some of the biggest and strongest animals in the world are herbivores. What is a baby horse called? Is it A, a cub? B, a fowl? C, a pup? Or D, a hatchling? The correct answer is B, a fowl. You guys did great. Kai and I have to go, but we will be learning fun facts about another animal next week. See you next time on Wildlife Crystal. <laughs> Bye, Bye guys! Thanks for stopping by! Today was awesome!